Josephine. Okay. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the victory. Uh, dominant performance in there. So I'm curious, what are the emotions now that you kicked off this card in such dominant fashion? Thank you so much, first of all. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm happy with the win and uh, the, mo the dominant win. So, yeah, it's, it's always a place for improvement. But, you know, it's my debut and uh, I'm really pumped to be here in Las Vegas and uh, having this fight in uh, such a short notice. Yeah. Given that it was such a short notice fight and you, you did dominate her in pretty much all aspects of mixed martial arts, what improvements do you think you actually need to see in there after this? Uh, you know, I think it's all about me, you know, what I have to improve. Uh, it doesn't matter who I have in front of me. Uh, when I got this opp opportunity two weeks ago, it was like, of, of course, I'm going to take this opportunity. You know, I, I never back down. And um, I know that UFC, being a part of UFC, will only make me even a better fighter because I love challenges and I'm going to show UFC new sides of me all, all the time. Pretty much right out of the gate, that first exchange, you connected with that front kick up the body, and then you were kind of blasting her with knees and elbows against the fence. Were you surprised that she survived until the end of the fight? I mean, uh, I got to give her that she's tough, you know? Uh, but also, I knew, I knew it, it got to her a little bit, you know? But she also tried to, like, mentally show me that it didn't hurt. But, you know, I can feel, I could feel th that my techniques touched her, you know? But, I mean, I, I got to give it to her that she, it was tough to take it and at least continue. Yeah. After the fight, when you did speak with your coaches, did you, do you think there was a moment in there you probably could have finished her if you had maybe jumped on the choke earlier or kind of took her down earlier in the fight rather than standing there, with, straighting with her? Uh, yes, I do think so. Like my last fight uh, three weeks ago at the Contender. But, you know, I also think, like, because I always put that pressure on myself, you know, to, to have the finish and because I, I know I can do it, you know. But, and my team also believes in me. But I'm, I'm, I'm just going to let it come more natural. And I know that this is only the beginning and this is my first fight. It's just going to get better. And last one for me. What do you want the rest of your year to look like? Do you want to stay this active continuing or do you want these full camps again or these short notice fights where you can rack up a lot of fights in a short amount of time? You know, I'm a fighter and I've been waiting for this for a long time. So I'm just going to stay ready for whatever opportunity shows up for me. I'm not going to turn down like I, I want to have fights, you know more fights. Of course, I have to be realistic, you know, but I feel like my body and everything, my mindset, everything is perfect, and I just want to have more fights. Josephine, right here, in the back. Uh, Josephine, obviously going out there, big uh, event in Las Vegas. I mean, you've obviously imagined what this would be like when you got out there, you heard the crowd, you got under the lights. How did it live up to what you imagined? Yes, it did, and more. <laughs> Uh, I love this feeling. Uh, like yesterday at the waiting, I just want to take everything in and uh, enjoy the moment. Um, I want to show the world that I'm going to be 100% me. And um, that feeling I had uh, walking into the fight tonight also. Uh, for fans who don't know, can you talk a little bit about the face paint that you had during the weigh-ins? Is that something you normally do? Uh, no, that was special for my debut. Uh, it was my Thunder. My Thunder is my nickname. I had it uh, all the way since I started fighting in Muay Thai. And uh, also I had the Swedish colors because I'm from Sweden. Uh, my final question. Did you think that Marnik was trying to play a little bit of mental games by walking out to Avicii, who's Swedish also? Uh, you know, I didn't think about it, to be honest, because I was just so much into my own game. So now when you say it, it was at Vichy, but I, I, you, you know, I would, I would never care. So yeah. congrats. Thank you. Hey, Thank just, you. Hey, Josephine. I'm just curious if you can talk to us a little bit about the time between not getting a contract and then getting the call to be in the UFC. Were there, you know, was it hard to, to stay focused, to stay positive, or did you feel like it was coming right away? Uh, to be honest, like directly after my fight in Contender, I was like, it was a disappointment for me, you know, but I could only blame myself because uh, I understand like the decision. Uh, but directly when I came home, I was very, very positive. I, I remember I even told people like coming 
coming to me and like, oh, hey, I'm sorry. I was just like, oh, it's okay. You know, I'm gonna stay positive because I'm just gonna put in the work. I, I came home and went to the gym directly. For me, it was like no excuse. And then, like a few days after, I got I got the news, and I was like, hey, you know what? This, I know. It has to, it was like destiny for me, you know, because I stay positive and I got the opportunity, yeah. Were you surprised that that opportunity came so fast? Because you can be positive and, and, be, and that's very positive to, to come back so soon. Yeah, I was like both yes and no, because it's UFC and everything can happen. So you have to stay ready. And uh, I've seen it with the fighters we have in our gym, with uh, Kamsa Chimaev, and you know, you gotta show you're hungry and show what you want to do. That, and this is my passion and this is my life and I waited for it for a long time. So, you know, we, I just, we just go for it, yeah. Was there any bit of, um, I don't know if resentment is the right word, or a little bit of disappointment that you didn't get that chance at Contender Series because you got it just two weeks later, but you know, it's like, why couldn't I have gotten it two weeks ago? Uh, of course, I had that thought, you know, like, but it's not going to give me anything because we have to move forward. We got the fight. We have a new opponent. I'm in the UFC. You know, it's not going to help me to overthink that, you know, because now, now I got the opportunity and it's, it was just like go time, you know, and prepare myself 100% for what I have in front of me, not what I have in my past. Thank you. Thank you. Josephine, one more over here. Uh, you mentioned your teammate Hamza. He obviously has a camp coming, a uh, fight coming up. So what's it like being in camp and seeing him? Like, because we hear all the stories of him training, but when he actually has a fight and an opponent that he obviously doesn't really care for in Paulo Costa, what's it like watching him train in there or being in the gym with him? Uh, watching him training, it's like a big motivation for me. Uh, obviously, I'm not training with him, you know, <laughs> of course not. I got those questions earlier, so I just had to sort it out. <laughs> but we're training like side by side, and I learn a lot from him, from him on the mat, and uh, I look up to him as a fighter. And you know, he's really something special. You know, he's uh, one of a kind. Right? Anything else? All right. Thank you so much, guys.